Today's video, we're going to talk about what to do after being a drunken fool. Uh, today's question was from email, so I'm not going to give you the details of that. It's a private email, um, but I'll talk about a few comments later on. The goal of these videos is always to get control, to find out where your control is, to look at things from rationality over emotions. The last thing we want to hear is judgments. I'm not going to give you any judgments. Uh, I've been there. I've done it. You know, I, I'm in no place to give you any judgments. But I also don't want you to be judging yourself. You know, the last thing you want is to be judge, jury and executioner in your own trial. And the point is that you're not alone in this, right? There's, have a look in the comments down below on this video. Have a look in the comments on a lot of the other videos. And you'll see people who are fucked up. You see people who have got drunk, said the wrong thing, they've done the wrong thing. Um, but there's also people who are on the opposite side of that, who are two weeks sober, who are three weeks sober, two months, two years sober, who've got into this journey and they're improving their lives. Um, Everybody embarrasses themselves, everybody fucks up at some stage, but put a psychoactive drug into that mix and you're just asking for a disaster. I said earlier on that I was going to give you a couple of examples in this. Well, one example, but there's a couple from the same guy. Uh, I screamed and cried and yelled at a bunch of my friends the other night and I felt like a complete idiot. want to quit alcohol so bad. Now, this was two years ago. I really appreciate that. Tell you more on that later on. If you've got stories to share, um, I can't tell you how much they can be an inspiration to other people. So leave them down below. At this stage, I've got no concern about what you did. That doesn't matter, right? We've got to separate the action from the reaction. Focus on reducing the negative emotions. Focus on reducing that embarrassment. You know, I've got lots of regrets about what I did when I was a drinker. I was a drinker for over 30 years. So how could I not have regrets? The thing is, when you stop drinking alcohol, you realize how much it sapped your self-confidence, it sapped your self-esteem, but most of all, how it saps your self-belief. It's your self-belief, it's your self-efficacy, that belief that you can do anything. That's the thing that you want the most because that's the thing that gives you the power to move out of any situation. It's the thing that you build up when you stop drinking alcohol. But the past is the past, right? And there's nothing you can do about the past, right? The only thing that you can do is change the way that you think about it. That's what we're all about. Trying to look at your past and to try and view it from a different lens. And like I said, all drinkers have got embarrassing moments. You know, it's in the DNA. It's part and parcel of the process. You know, when you're stupefying your brain, you're going to do embarrassing things. But embarrassment really is in the head. Your embarrassment is in your head, you know. It's something that you can fix in your head. And we fix this by looking at the context. We fix this by sort of making sure that, like I said, there's nothing you can do about the past, but there is something that you can do about the present. You know, you can't fix what you've already done, but you can make sure that it doesn't happen again. Your emotions are there for a reason. Positive emotions to move you towards something, to get you to do it more often. Negative emotions to move you away from something get you to do it less. You know, think about it like your brain is message bombing you. Stop doing this, move away from this. Stop putting your hand on that hot stove. I wanna read you uh, an update from Tully. And I got this 14th of January last year. And he said, he's been sober for over a year since October 9th, 2020. My girlfriend and I are planning to get married and my career has taken an amazing positive turn in the last 12 months. I sent a message yesterday to Tully and he's still going strong almost two years later. Right? He said, thanks man, quitting drinking has been the best decision I ever made and has probably saved my life. I love that when people come back and leave updates to previous comments that they made. You know, uh, Tully, he was in a bad way when he left that first comment where he shouted and screamed at his mates. And now, two years later, over two years later, and oh, his whole life is coming back together again. The good news about this is that you, you already know what's happening. You know why this is happening. You put alcohol into your body and sometimes this happens to you, you know, it doesn't happen every time, which is uh, one of the reasons why we carry on drinking and we can convince ourselves that this is not who we really are. But every so often it gets to that stage. The long-term future without alcohol is very bright. You know, I've done so much because I've stopped drinking alcohol. I'm living what I would consider to be my dream life now. I mean, there's a lot more that I want to do, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm still on that upward climb, but I'm there, you know, I'm sort of, a, I'm on that ladder. And the long-term steps about this are all in control, right? What do you control? The first thing that you control is not putting the alcohol into your mouth. Alcohol is kryptonite. You have to look at it like that. That alcohol is no good in your system. Right? Every time you put alcohol into your system, there is something bad that's going to happen either physically or mentally or something that you are going to do that is going to ruin your life. You feel horrible right now? Good. 
good. I'm telling you that's good because it's good motivation to move you forwards. Imagine if you didn't feel bad. Imagine if you didn't feel any of these negative emotions. You will continue to do this over and over again. It's the fact that you're feeling these negative emotions. Like I said, the embarrassment is on the inside, it's not on the outside. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. It doesn't make any difference what anyone else says. It's what you do, it's how you think. And what you are thinking in this moment is motivation. If you use it as that, you know, you can use it to get up off your ass and do something, or you can allow it to happen over and over again. You already know what to do. Stop drinking alcohol. Stop putting this shit into your mouth. This is a poison. It's a poison for you, it's a poison for your system, it's a poison for your life. You can't change the past, right? The past is gone, so there's no point in crying over spilt milk, but you can change what happens now. You can change what happens in the future. If you continue to drink and you, these things keep happening to you, that's your responsibility. You have to accept that. If you can't do this on your own, then please get help, but do not give up. Do not give up. Now I promise you, I'll keep making the videos. I'll keep trying to encourage you. I'll keep trying to motivate you to move forwards. You might be nodding your head now. You might be agreeing with me. You might be saying, oh, I can't go through these emotions again. I can't go through this embarrassment again. I can't keep doing this thing over and over again, but you need to take action. You need to take positive steps towards where you want to go. If you can't do that, then get help, but please don't give up, right? Onwards and upwards, take care. Watch this one next on Motivation.